It's known for the Derby and Bourbon, but this live street is the place to go in Louisville. And when you hit the Carolina coast, this is a must, Southport. And when you want that sports bar with inventive drinks, then this is the place in Vegas. Then we take you to a golf event that brings the whole family together. Undercover Jet Setter is about to bring it together right now. And cheers, everybody. Cheers. Nice to have you back. You know, we have found ourselves in Louisville, Kentucky a number of times. And somehow we always get drawn to 4th Street Live and with good reason. There are many cool places in Louisville, and this is a jumping spot you will gravitate to whether you're a local or visiting from out of town. 4th Street Live is right in downtown Louisville, and it offers a ton of fun. This is a fun outdoor entertainment venue loaded with great restaurants, hot bars, and super shopping. In fact, if you're on your own, you can hit a spot, plant yourself at a bar, and enjoy some ball game. And you will want to enjoy the Kentucky vibe, too. 4th Street Live embodies everything of that fabulous mixture that is Kentucky and Louisville. Fast horses and slow pours. And it's also got a great casual vibe. So while it is set up well for adults, bringing the kids works too, especially during the day. And there are a variety of restaurants, and we hit two of them you must try. The first is the Bourbon Raw Kentucky Kitchen and Raw Bar. And they live up to their name. First, bourbon is the state's number one export around the world. And Bourbon Raw lets the bourbon pour with bourbons from all over the world. You have to try the wide range of bourbons in their bourbon flights, ranging from low rye, high rye, weeded, and small batch producers. Next, Bourbon Raw stays true to its name by offering an extensive raw bar with shrimp, oysters, crab, and lobster. And Bourbon Raw is also true to its Kentucky roots, straddling the American North and South by serving up great northern seafood and fine southern comfort food. Now, we started with some sautéed shrimp. There was nothing small about the taste. It had white cheddar poblano grits with bourbon smoked tomatoes criminy mushrooms, all smothered in a bourbon cream sauce. And you will surrender. This was tasty, rich, and smoky, thanks to the bourbon cream sauce. The shrimp were sautéed to perfection. It was balanced nicely with the smoky bourbon sauce and the heat of the poblano chilies. Definitely one to put on top of your Southern Comfort favorites list. Next, the pan-seared fresh cod with sautéed spinach, bourbon leek sauce, and crispy tobacco onions. Yes, there is a bourbon theme going on here. The fish was incredibly moist and silky. As in all well-made dishes, the bourbon didn't overpower it at all. The leeks made it sweet and complemented the bourbon sauce. The spinach was fresh, and the tobacco onions had a nice crunch and some earthy spiciness from the cayenne pepper. And then a true southern staple, fried chicken. Bring your appetite. This is a half chicken deep fried. It comes with creamy white gravy that was thick and rich. The outside of the chicken was super crunchy while being moist on the inside. It was served with red skin mashed potatoes. Look at how fluffy and creamy they are. They went great with the crunchiness of the chicken, and the freshly steamed Brussels sprouts were sweet and caramelized. We weren't done yet. The goat cheese skillet was phenomenal. You can have it as an appetizer or an entree. Now, this is an entree, and if you are a fan of goat cheese, this is a must. Oh, yeah. The goat cheese is topped with those same amazing amazing bourbon smoked tomatoes and criminy mushrooms, and then served with grilled flatbread. The goat cheese is added last and then broiled to brown it on the top. Now this was another gathering of great Kentucky flavors. The goat cheese was tangy and creamy, while the bourbon smoked tomatoes and criminy mushrooms gave an earthy touch, almost like a balsamic vinegar. And the crunchy flatbread slid easily through that warm, melted cheese. Now next, we hit a restaurant with one of our favorite celebrity chefs, Guy Fieri's Smokehouse. I can't believe he wasn't there to greet us. I agree. Well, he is the host of one of our favorite food shows, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, which, ironically, this place is none of those. Yeah, I guess he is a little busy. Here, there is a fun indoor-outdoor bar serving up great cocktails and bourbons so you can hang with friends or meet new ones. Plus, this place screams about Guy's love for barbecue. After all, he was inducted into the American Royal Barbecue Hall of Fame. The open-air kitchen delivers dishes hot and fast. And outside, there is this big boy, 
a large custom-made smoker. That's right. You can get his famous barbecue sauces ranging from hot to smoky, and you can enjoy them at your table, or you can take them home. Like most celebrity chef spots, the staff is really friendly with great knowledge of the menu. He has a full range of bourbons and cocktails, including some classics. And some twists on the classics, too. We tried the Tattooed Mojito. This is Captain Morgan rum along with muddled blackberries, which you can see swimming in the glass. It also has lime, mint, and simple syrup, and then all topped off with club soda super refreshing. Guy's Food is also another tribute to Kentucky's split north-south personality. We dove into barbecue heaven with Guy's signature sandwich, the Modley Q, which will settle down any Modley crew. <laughs> it has 14-hour pit-smoked pulled pork smothered in bourbon brown sugar barbecue sauce with cheddar cheese, shredded cabbage, and crispy onions piled on a garlic toasted bun. And there are sides, too. You get a choice of three, and Guy is not stingy with them. We chose smoked street corn, Brussels sprouts with bacon and Parmesan, which were smoky and sweet, to go along with the Smokehouse Fry Trio. Now, the trio is for folks like us who can't make up their minds, so you get all three. Fat curly fries, skinny french fries, and waffle fries. As Guy would say, that was off the charts. So get yourself to Louisville and take some time to relax at 4th Street Live. And don't be surprised if it looks different. There is plenty of expansion going on here. The Kentucky International Convention Center is opening in the summer of 2018 as an outdoor meeting space. And, you know, 4th Street Life has plenty of older hotels. They're very elegant, but it's got some new ones as well. And it's not that far from the airport where you fly in. Yeah, very convenient. And when we come back, we're going to take you to the Carolina coast for some great food and some great views. Hi, folks. I helped pioneer reality TV back in the 1990s, and now we are pioneering in the 21st century new media. Our travel TV show is shot and edited on the iPhone, and we deliver it to you on Tiki Live in HD. We can reach bigger audiences around the world compared to the 3 million nightly viewers I used to get. Plus, Tiki Live makes it easy for our viewers to find us. Tiki Live is on every continent. And Tiki Live is in all the leading smart TV technology. If you're looking for a cable alternative or you want to start your own TV show on your terms, check out Tiki Live. And cheers again. Welcome back. You know, one of the most picturesque spots on the East Coast is the Carolina Coast. I get a chance to see it all the time, and I marvel at it. Oh, that's right. And you know what? We got a chance to see it from a bird's eye view, thanks to a good friend, while also enjoying some great food and drinks. We fly into Southport thanks to our drone partner, Drone Video Partners, piloted by longtime friend and colleague Steve Gerald. I'm happy to do it. Southport's a beautiful place water everywhere, beautiful bayside and river, or, or waterside docks and marinas. Um, and just sort of a cool town to stop by and visit. We're shooting in August as the summer season is ending, but in July this place is packed for one of the state's biggest and oldest 4th of July parades. And there's plenty of history here. Steve took us over Fort Johnson, which was both instrumental in the Revolutionary and Civil Wars. In fact, a soldier who served for the federal government turned the fort over to the Confederates and then switched sides only to relinquish it back to the Union. <laughs> now, Southport is near Wilmington, North Carolina. This quaint town has a lot of the late 19th century and early 20th century charm of an old fishing and sailing village. There are plenty of ferries. We will head to Bald Head Island on a future show. Now, here in Southport, we decided to come down to Earth and do a walking culinary tour tour. And there are plenty of restaurants here as well. Along the sea, you get the feel of the Caribbean. Now we hit fishy fishy and we can parrot what Polly said. Screw the crackers, get me a drink. <laughs> and specialty drinks they have, along with some fresh seafood appetizers. The first favorite at Fishy Fishy is the Southport Sunset. It has Malibu rum, Midori, pineapple, and mango juice with a grenadine float. It had the feel of what we would call a Carolina Breeze or a Carolina Malibu Punch. Now, sure, it is a bit sweet, but that's why we paired it with this dish, the spicy peel and shrimp. There was garlic butter, but there was this cooked in buffalo sauce. 
It was fabulous. The sweetness of the Southport Sunset worked perfectly with the spice of the shrimp. Now, if you're worried about too much heat, these shrimp weren't flamethrowers by any means. And because you have to peel them while you enjoy them, fishy fishy became scrumptious messy messy. (laughs) That's right. We towelled our hands off and enjoyed another drink specialty at Fishy Fishy. This one is called the Weekender. Now, this had Malibu coconut rum, orange pineapple, and cranberry juice with a splash of peach schnapps. Now, this was a great combo, sweet and tart. It went well with our order of freshly caught mussels. The tomato broth was superb. Don't let it go to waste. Use the bread for dipping. Now, next, we wander off the ocean and traveled up Howe Street, Southport's main drag. There, we dove into more delights at Ports of Call. Now, this is your gourmet jet setter place for dinner or some great appetizers at the bar. Now, you can get your usual martini or Manhattan, both expertly served up. Now, the specialty drinks here are fun and sophisticated with some real interesting combos. The first blackberry patch Bacardi rum, fresh blackberries and fresh mint, muddled and topped with Gosling's ginger beer and a splash of club soda. Yeah, it was refreshing and made your palate think a bit with delight. The next was their Saint Sangria with red wine, Saint Germain, topped with kava, frozen mango and peach juice chips, and a perfect summer drink. Now, there were a couple of nice surprises, too, on the appetizer menu. The lightly breaded oysters are a definite must. Next, the Korean wings. These chicken wings are twice fried with a sweet and spicy glaze sprinkled with sesame seeds. We got the 12-piece dish and shared it with four of us. Then we had another delight, seafood canapes on cucumber slices. The seafood salad was a combo of fresh lobster, shrimp, and crab. Now, the shrimp satay was a must. The shrimp was grilled and then served with a luscious Thai peanut sauce. In addition, the salad with it was perfect and light. Now, if you're looking for dessert, and there is only one dessert that you will treat yourself to, then it is the Ports of Call Creme Brulee. It is light but infused with vanilla bean to give it a unique kick. Southport is very walkable. You can get Uber or Lyft. But we suggest you take in some of the many bed and breakfast places so you can walk to the shore or any of the other fun eateries and watering holes. Or do what we did. We flew in. Kind of. And special thanks to Steve Jarrell and Drone Video Partners for all that great video. We're going to have more on Steve and do some segments on him and his drone expertise. You'll see that on our YouTube channel. And when we come back, we go to Vegas and a sports bar that will keep the ladies there. Tiki means Polynesian superpower, but this tiki can make you money. The world is looking for cable alternatives and turning to smart devices for their entertainment and news content. Tiki Live is the leading internet protocol TV and over-the-top content provider, now on every continent and used by the leading smart TV manufacturers. Plus, Tiki Live can deliver local TV content to your customers while also offering premium channels. Everything you get from cable except the high price of channels you don't want. Tiki Live, superpowers that help you reach the world. And welcome back again. Great to have you here. One of the great places in Las Vegas that we get a chance to go to every now and then is called Montana Meat. It's not only a great restaurant, it's a great sports bar, and they have a great bartender, Eric Snyder. And while Eric knows a lot about sports, which keeps the conversation going, and it's great, by the way, and great information and trivia, but he also knows how to make a lot of different drink concoctions that are very inventive, as we found out. So we took you to Montana Meat Company in Vegas, my favorite place to watch games and to chat with a bartender in the know, my man Fish, a.k.a. Eric Snyder. We've already gone over his sports expertise and his humor and some of the great food there, but here we let Eric show us two of the favorite drinks at Montana Meat. The first one we're going to make is a Purple Long Island. It's a drink that's indigenous to the Montana Meat Company, made up by my staff. We have a, every, every house has recipes that are just their house recipes. This is one my bartending staff, along with myself, came up with. We're very proud of it. It's our top-selling drinks. Sorry, John, you being the Irishman that you are, there's no Irish alcohol in this whole thing. Okay, this is the Long Island. So we got the gin, we got the the vodka, a little bit of rum, dash a little triple sec on top of there. Then we're going to fill it up. 
with pineapple juice, which is never really done in a Long Island. Long Island is actually a little bit of 7-Up and Coca-Cola on top with a floated triple sec. Then we're going to take our raspberry mix. We're going to float it on top like that until it drizzles down to the bottom. Straw it, and then we're going to garnish it with a orange wedge, if I can get it on the scoop. And then I challenge the lovely Susan to taste that. That's an Epicurean delight. Fabulous. This one we're going to do is the peach sangria. This is the second most popular drink at the Montana Mead Company. Again, a drink that's just indigenous, the word I'm using today, for our house. And uh, very popular with the female clientele that comes in, because all it is, it's in a red wine glass. Red wine glasses are used for red wine. But if you're going to do something cold or frothy, you want to use it in this capacity. You take some white wine, John, a Chardonnay, fill it about halfway to, to the glass. Then we'll take some pineapple juice. You're noticing pineapple juice, which is an aphrodisiac. It Three is? quarters of the way. Yeah, you wouldn't know. Uh, okay. Yeah. I know, I know your twist. Peach schnapps will go on top. And the garnish on this is just a orange wedge. Extremely popular in these hot summer months in Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. oh, delicious. Yep, touchdown from both of us. Montana Meat Company in Las Vegas. Come for the food, the sports, the talk, and the drinks. And those those drinks, I, I would say that it's drinks that would keep bringing the ladies back. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. I mean, those drinks, they were light, they were refreshing, they were fruity, but not too sweet. Uh, one of them was very peachy, which was great, but it had the Sauvignon Blanc that cut through it. So it was very delicious. Definitely for the women in your life. Yeah, great place to go. And if you're a guy, too, great place to go as well. Now, when we come back, we're going to take you to a golf tournament where you can actually bring your sons and daughters to play in a competitive round of golf. That's when we come back. Tiki means Polynesian superpower, but this Tiki can make you money. The world is looking for cable alternatives and turning to smart devices for their entertainment and news content. Tiki Live is the leading internet protocol TV and over-the-top content provider, now on every continent and used by the leading smart TV manufacturers. Plus, Tiki Live can deliver local TV content to your customers while also offering premium channels. Everything you get from cable except the high price of channels you don't want. Tiki Live, superpowers that help you reach the world. And welcome back. You know, Myrtle Beach is really a golf mecca, and they have hundreds of amateur golf events every year. And one of them is for fathers and sons. More than 900 golfers of fathers and sons and mothers and daughters from more than 20 states and five foreign countries crowd into Myrtle Beach each July. We caught up with the father and son event. The Crofts come down from the Charlotte area. What's the best thing about this tournament? Time I get to spend with dad. Sorry. Stay busy during during our lives during the year and it's nice to have a week we can come down here and spend the whole time together. Good. Who's carrying who? We <laughs> carry each other. <laughs> Yesterday in the uh, captain's choice we used my ball six times, his six times, and we shot the same thing six times. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, that's pretty consistent. So the question is that everyone's asking is, which one's the father, which one's the son? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a junior, he's a senior. <laughs> <laughs> it's a three-day event. One day is a scramble or a captain's choice. The second day is best ball, so each player plays his own ball. The last day is alternating shot, which is the toughest. As our friend Anderson Meadows discovered, playing with our jet setter friend, Raleigh Rick Meadows. <laughs> What's your response to that? Ah, uh, looking for a new dad next year. You taking applications? <laughs> okay, so you're not exactly playing your best golf, but you're having a lot of fun. It's been a great event. This is our third year. We we'll keep coming back. We're always paired with wonderful people, making new friends, having a great time, bonding with the sun, and it's just been terrific. So it's a great event, well organized, and we'll keep coming. 
Now, you and Anderson have always had a great relationship. Uh, it, what, what, what does this do here? Just kind of get you together because you, you're both working, you both have busy lives? It does. I mean, I mean he's definitely my number one golfing buddy, but uh, as he gets older, it gets harder and harder to get together. So this is kind of an event we pencil in every year. A little pressure on you, though, because he hits the ball pretty well. <laughs> That's why I'm bringing him. We used to play these things when he was like 10, and I had to carry the team, and now it's payback time. The event goes high-tech, giving the players real-time scoring so they know exactly where they stand. The PGA Superstore helps by sponsoring the event, which they say keeps the game of golf growing. As we continue to look at the game itself and talk about the growth of the game and the health of the game, one of the key factors in growing the game is to involve the family. And I think this is an important event because it engages both mother, daughter, father, son, and it's, a, it's bringing that next generation along. So this is an important tournament from our perspective because it does, does so much to, to help grow the game. If you want more information about the upcoming Family Golf Week, just go to the site. And a special thanks to Rick and Anderson Meadows for letting us tag along. And they play in that event every year. At the same time, too, there is a World Amateur event that takes place in Myrtle Beach every August, and it takes up 60 golf courses. Oh, wow. That is a lot of golfers, like thousands, <laughs> Absolutely, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And, and it takes place at the end of August when people are actually finishing up their vacations. So it really works out. It's a lot of fun for a lot of people to go there. So, I but, bet. But in the meantime, thanks for joining us. Cheers. See you next time. And don't forget to tweet us at UC Foodie TV. Send us your favorite golf courses, foods, drinks, and anything else you want to send us. See you next time. may not have noticed, but the majority of Undercover Jet Setter is shot on the iPhone. So that means you can create your own TV show, or you may want to have great vacation videos. Well, we've made it easier for you with our book. It's called The TV Studio In Your Hand. It is a quick read, and you can get it here. So bring us along for your next vacation video or your new TV show.